Okay, we are at the last session of our QGIS for beginners tutorial. So in this session, we'll learn about print layout. Okay, in this print layout, we'll learn about creating a new print layout. Okay, we'll add title, legend. Okay, and uh, many other things. And then uh, at last, we'll learn how to export this map in PDF format, JPG format, PNG format. So different format we can export this map. Okay, so let's start our print layout session. Okay, so for this print layout session, okay, so first in this, in my first uh, session, I uh, couldn't uh, show you about uh, CSP, how to add CSP format. So I'll be using this CSP data and at last I will show you about the print layout. So for the adding CSP uh, data, okay, go to this uh, open data source manager and okay, in this, sorry, sorry. Uh, maybe okay okay this is where I'll go and then so after this I'll go to this delimited text and then I'll search for the text here okay I'll go with I have this save file of earthquake paper and then open so it will directly show x field longitude y field latitude okay since i have a lot experience uh, y field longitude and latitude so i don't have z field so i want to be using this z field and then i will f9 okay so you can see this data so after that uh, i will add the district uh, okay so district safer in this case i will add it to the back side and then okay i will uh, visualize okay change the symbology of this data so uh, maybe graduated and then okay uh, that will be magnitude and then, okay like this calling interval and then i'll apply uh, okay so let's send the symbology Okay, and let me change the symbology of this district. Uh, yes, okay, something white. And then, okay, now what we'll, we'll do is we'll create a new print layout. So to create a new print layout, you can see here uh, inside the project can create a create a print layout from here also okay uh, also you can create create a print layout from here so create a print layout i will give this as map of nepal and then okay so this is our print layout so after this if you uh, you want we must add the image oh sorry map so okay go to this map let me uh, zoom to layer of this map and then i'll add this map inside our print layout so to add the map you can see in the here in the left corner you can see add map option so click on this and i'll add manually like this okay this is how we'll add map so after this uh, we have to add a title so you can go to this add item and then you can see here uh, add sorry mm -hmm. uh, maybe here you can see add label option okay add label and then like this you can do and i will add as uh, map of nepal and after this you can change the property from here font okay directly i'll change okay you can scroll on this font and change the font size and then font color okay i will assign align this in center and then okay you can change the font font uh here font which font you want to use uh, regular or bold i will use bold and then font size okay i'll uh, save this in the middle okay and after this what i'll do is i'll add a north button north arrow 
so for this add item and then north arrow add a north arrow and then i will add here north arrow okay you can change the north arrow from here you can see arrows inside arrows you have uh, multiple arrows so you can change uh, you can select a arrow and reduce uh, the size like this okay after this i will add a uh, okay maybe i will reduce the size of this and then i will add a uh, legend so for legend add items add legend and then i will add legend here so okay uh, for the legend uh, what i will add is i will add the legend title as l e c e n d legend and then you can see symbology symbol on right symbol on left you can change the symbology and then can sorry sorry okay i just do it here okay control z and then what you can do is item property okay which one item you want to add okay so legend items columns okay you can change everything from here you can change the legend title size okay and then everything you want from you can work with this uh, properties here and then change the legend value. so after that okay let me uh, add a uh, uh, scale bar so to scale bar go to add item and then add a scale bar so inside the scale bar okay let me create uh, this space okay you have three points here so if you want to increase more points so uh, go to this segment and then uh, inside uh, at the right you can increase one more two more segment and then you can uh, change the position size rotation okay create height okay i add i will decrease Sorry. and then you can work with all of this segment width height and I will decrease height okay so in this how in this way you can change the uh, scale bar add a scale bar so maybe scale unit is kilometer table unit multibar is one and you can in this how in this way you can add uh, scale so after this if you want to add other thing like uh, you can see here add shape okay add a label items maybe Add not error legend label. Sorry, okay. You don't know. Uh, okay, if you want to add, okay, you can see here options. Yeah, uh, you can see many options here. Items. <laughs> attribute table okay so you can add attribute table also okay after this okay let me add a, uh, add my add uh, the author so for this go and add here as created by Laura. so date you can write Thousand twenty one zero five twenty three. Okay, then you can change the font. Okay, 
okay after this you can add more items like shape maybe rectangle i'll add a rectangle shape and then uh, maybe inside the rectangle uh, i'll add this as transparent fill and then stock width you can change the stock width so okay okay this is how you can add a rectangle and after this if you want to add more item like uh, okay maybe you can explore more through this uh, map uh, uh, print layout option so okay after this what i'll do is i will export this map so to export this map you can go to layout and export as image export as svg export as pdf so let me export as image okay you can export as any formatting okay i will go with jpg format and then save okay you can change the width height resolution i'll save this that and let me see okay you can see this is the exported map of nepal so this is how you can export uh, map in qgis so maybe with this we conclude our uh, QGIS for beginners series. Okay, if you want to more explore more about QGIS, you can watch uh, more tutorials on my channel. Hope uh, you like this tutorial. So maybe this was helpful to begin your career in QGIS. So thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe the channel. Thank you very much.